Happy New Year, and welcome to the first edition of Political Empire for 2013. I'm your host, Jeff Horseman, with the Press Enterprise and PE.com. And today we're going to be talking about the passing of a longtime lawmaker and lobbyist in the inland region and talk a little bit about this uh, plan that is being developed for Temecula's wine country. So first, uh, former San Bernardino lawmaker John Quimby, who overcame polio and alcoholism and had a long career lobbying for Riverside and San Bernardino counties, died December 22nd at age 76. He got involved in politics at age 22, becoming the youngest member elected to the San Bernardino City Council. Now, he served on the council from 1959 to 1962 when he ran for the then 72nd Assembly District. And he spent about a dozen years in the Assembly, and he was the author of a 1965 law bearing his name requiring developers to set aside parkland, provide conservation eas easements, and pay fees to improve parks. So he's, he left quite a legacy uh, during this time. So. Uh, now I'm going to be talking about uh, what's being called the Wine Country Community Plan. Riverside County Supervisors this year will consider a plan that could transform the wine country. And joining us by phone to talk about this is our Temecula reporter, Nelsie Rodriguez. So, Nelsie, talk a little bit about this plan, like what it's, why it's being developed and what exactly it will do. Um, the plan is a, it's a development document, so it's going to set all the rules and regulations for establishing wineries, tasting rooms, equestrian uses, residential development, road development, all of those rules um, through 2013. So it's really going to lay the framework on how wine country will develop, which is good because there are a lot more wineries coming in every day. There's, a new, uh, there's more permits being pulled for um, the establishment of new wineries. Okay, now I understand there's a church out there that's a little concerned about this plan. Uh, can, you, can you explain that? Yeah, there's a church. Um, Calvary Chapel is the only church that, ha that exists in wine country, and they opened up under a, a loophole. Most of the land in wine country it has been um, designated for winery use only, so, uh, and related uses, sorry. So, um, so a church isn't really compatible. They want to, um, winemakers want to reserve all that land because it's pretty ideal for growing grapes. Um, however, the Calvary Chapel already exists there, and they have a, um, a, pr a development proposal to um, expand their church and build an elementary school there, an ancillary min uh, elementary school on the church campus. So the, um, the Riverside Planning Commission has said that, that that application can proceed by itself. It'll be up to the board supervisors to decide whether um, they want to allow that, that ex church expansion to go through. Um, but um, wine uh, winery owners are concerned that they're going to be using that land that is needed for grape growth. So Calvary Chapel has threatened a federal lawsuit if they don't allow them. They say it's, it's infringing on the freedom of religion to not allow churches in wine country. They say it also um, works well with um, like reception venues out there. If, if people want to have weddings, they need a church to get married in first. Um, but we'll see how it goes. It'll be up to the board supervisors. All right. Well, litigation aside, I mean, what you talked about the Board of Supervisors considering this. I mean, what, what has to happen for this to become reality? I'm sorry, what was the last part? For this to become what? Uh, uh, the Board of Supervisors, they, they have to consider this. So I'm just wondering what the next step is in terms of this plan. Oh, yes, the next step. Uh, the Planning Commission just this last month, um, in December, I'm sorry, 2012, um, finally okayed all of their vets. So they finally have reviewed every aspect of the plan, and they're forwarding, forwarding it on to the Board of Supervisors. I don't know exactly when they're going to take that up, but that will um, launch another series of public hearings so the public will have all the time in the world to um, give their comments and say what they think should, um, the wine country should look like in the next decade. All right. Well, I know you're going to be following that as it uh, goes before the board and maybe heads to court. So thank you very much, Nelsie, yeah. for your time. And thank you once again thank for you. watching Political Empire. I'm your host, Jeff Horseman uh, for Press Enterprise and PE.com. Thank you.